Look at that production. God damn, that's visually stunning. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? Shabu and I'm Tim Cooler, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Loki episode three. You know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying the first two episodes, even though I think it has a pacing problem. So much dialogue, but it makes sense for the story because they opening a uh, a section of the MCU we haven't seen throughout how many 20, 23 movies and three series. So they need to get us informed so they don't do, have to explain things later on. And I totally understand that. Um, we got introduced to Lady Loki, which was cool. Um, Loki ran with Lady Loki. Um, I feel like they're going to have a conversation because this is what this show is about. Like, this show is bigger because of the possibility of what it means to the MCU, honestly. I'm not saying it's it's a bad show. I'm saying it's phenomenal, but it is greater for the impl implications it will have on the MCU. You feel what I'm saying? Like this show changes things. That's why I think it, it's one of the most exciting MCU Disney Plus shows. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Um, Mobius is going to be mad at Loki. Lady Loki stealing the show. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time and just dive right in. Also, I don't believe the timekeepers are real. I think it's Kang the Conqueror. Also, Loki's plan to overthrow the time creeper. Keepers. I don't know why I said creepers. I don't like that plan. And I think we're pretty sure know that uh, the timekeepers are the actual villains of the show, right? Not Lady Loki. Ooh, interesting song choice. Ooh. What is she doing here? What? She was friends with Lady Loki? How does she not know what brain freezes it? Is it a Casey situation? Like he didn't know what a fish was? Is this an illusion? Damn, it is an illusion. She got scales. Yo, that's an interesting power set, yo. How do I find the elevator? She saw Loki and was like, God damn. Damn. She she came here? Oh yeah, powers don't work here. Damn. She can kick some ass. Woo! Disintegrated. What is Loki gonna do? Oh ho ho! He took the knives! Woohoo! She got more skills than you? Where did you put away the knives? They don't care if you kill him. Where did he take them? Are they gonna travel through places together for a while? Oh, it's a low on battery. Ho 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 ho! Damn. Is that one of What's the year? 2077. God damn. This this planet looks nice. <laughs> damn. She's trying to steal the thing again. Are they gonna fight again? They know each other so well. <laughs> what is the plan? The meteor stopped? Oh, the color. <laughs> Sylvie? Is she enchantress now? Is this Loki seeking freedom? The production design for this. God damn. It's just gonna be them arguing the whole episode, and I'm here for it. Damn. <laughs> She's such a Loki. He's gonna turn into the significant other? He's gonna get shot too. <laughs> they bonding. The arc. It's Noah's arc in this bitch. 
tonight. Yo, the production design for this show, though. <laughs> uh, is he gonna get stopped here? You need tickets either way. The planet's about to explode. That was too long and unnecessary. Look at the bougie people of this place. They're critiquing each other. This is the train to the Ark, not the Ark. Oh. Look at the shot, though. She didn't have a mother? How long has she been with the timekeepers? Or been alive? You know, when I was young. She was a great mother. The different power sets are intriguing to each other. This is clearly implying a multiverse. I mean, like, they implied it two episodes ago, but I'm just saying this is really multiverse-like. They're enjoying each other's company, which is cute. They're talking about their sexual encounters. They're talking about Loki's sexuality. What is love to Loki? Speak about it, man. Damn, that's a massive-ass meteor. <laughs> Too charming, everybody. Ooh, Loki singing. Is Loki floating? <laughs> what am I saying? Is Loki flirting with Loki? She just did that another that Loki, I mean, thought in the first movie. Love is what? Like this whole time he was thinking about this answer? <laughs> It looks lovely, is he drunk? <laughs> Damn! Damn! She fights with a crown, helmet. What is Loki Spikes called? <laughs> Man, the action sequence is top notch in this episode. He missed. Damn! Damn! Did they throw him out? Damn! It's broken. <laughs> what is she doing? It is a CG environment. You can clearly see that, but I'm still enjoying seeing them in the CG environment. Like this color. Yeah, they're gonna hijack the Noah's Ark. <laughs> they're really taking their time getting to this place, though. He's trying to learn a new ability. Oh, that's how her power works. You call me they were just humans. They variants? Oh my god, that's an interesting twist. Yo, like the budget of this episode though, <laughs> production wise, phenomenal. People are going in a frenzy right now. Last five minutes for the rest of your life. Look at that production. God damn, uh, that's visually stunning. The camera work, that one shot is crazy. Ooh. Why are they still trying to fight them? Your priorities, guys. Get the fuck out of the planet. No wonder y'all died. <laughs> the Loki costume is cool. Damn. They legit build this set and started destroying it. With some CG VFX elements to it. Ooh! Loki got power! Damn! It's a long ass five minutes though. Damn! How are they gonna survive this? What? No way, it just ended like that. That was the biggest cliffhanger ending I've ever seen. <laughs> God damn, that was a cliffhanger ending. God damn. Yeah, but they look good in that shot. That was a great episode, man. Loki flirting with Loki the whole time. Then. <laughs> Obviously, Loki's going to survive this. There's no way Loki doesn't survive halfway through the series. But damn, what a cliffhanger ending. Yo, they got three more episodes. What else do they have to do? What we found out is that everybody who works at the TVA is a variant. I guess we could have figured that out. Because the TVA, they didn't really explain how they 
magically created people. I want to know how they magically made them forget the year they the years they were born. Like she said, hundreds of years ago, her life, hundreds of years ago, essentially. So much was happening in this episode. I really enjoyed it. The color palette, the production design. Ooh, they had fun with this episode, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. This could be my favorite episode thus far. The other episodes, I gave them like an 8.5. You know what I'm saying? There. This one is a total nine. This one was a nine. Like I said, the whole pacing situation still needs work. This one did feel shorter for some reason. Maybe because the episode is shorter, but the whole pacing situation like people don't really need to talk this much <laughs> you know what i'm saying like legit conversations get pushed out the whole 40 something minutes it's very enjoyable but still we don't really need to talk this much uh but anyway i'm really enjoying the show tell me what you guys think like if you like my reaction subscribe if you're not subscribed this was loki episode three